okay, this is going to get juicy. And here's our siege. Got this. Ooh. Okay. It's not a bad molly, though. Not a bad molly at all. Kia ora kia my greetings and welcome, I am Guru, we are back in Drucker County with The Fortress, a small collection of fresh new characters with no fifth skills fighting for their life against the No Man's Land mod. And boy do we have our work cut out for us, look at the map, look at the map, so No Man's Land, No Man's Land mod. So far what we know about it is we've seen uh, wandering hordes of about 20 zombies. We've seen groups of juggernauts and we know that there are groups of ferals coming up. We've got curveballs plus we've awakened three plague hearts. So we have infestations and infestation hordes roaming around the map. So things are looking pretty brutal. Uh, at least we have some friends on the map. We've got the free citizens who uh, give us a supply drop for 150. That's actually pretty pretty good going. These guys who have already lost a community member, thanks to me. Uh, these guys up there, the healthy homesteaders who are the gun runners, except we can probably be friends with them pretty soon. And a new enclave up here, the Destiny Chasers. So they're new in town, we haven't spoken to them. Plus we also have the Tilted Snifters, which is a fancy word for the booze hounds, uh, who have got a mission. So what we're probably going to do is whisk down there actually because we want to decline their mission so that we can recruit them they have a chemist plus they have warm bodies of which to protect our base against the ever increasing spawns and danger that this mod will throw at us so yeah it's uh it's pretty wild so we're with chrissy she's the only one who's uninjured we'll check out our oh, curveballs so we've got more frequent community looting events. Community members have found a location containing resources and equipment, but are now on the hunt. Higher background noise from the base. That's not great, but that's okay. So we've got a scavenger hunt going on. We've got hyper auditory mutation. So zombies with great hearing, but poor eyesight. Both major effects and dulled senses. So they're prone to falling over. Uh, and zombies and freaks have worse hearing and poor eyesight so now which circle is which i don't know okay hyper auditory mutation is down there fantastic which means that the auditory problem must be up here right which is good for us it means that we can uh, we can just make our way over there so we've got a crossbow with one spear bolt in it that's all we got really is that all we got before we uh -oh, shoot out that's a feral. okay great Up close and personal is the yeah um we don't have any materials to upgrade our workshop in order to make a um craft suppressors so we're gonna have to get lucky with that one we've got a level two infirmary in three minutes which is good because we are getting some injuries I didn't see any more crossbow bolts there. Oh, there we go. We've doubled it. Two. Got another freak. Wonderful. And we can make some more parts. Why not? Uh, because we're audible. We don't need a race for that. We've got 130 parts and we've got nothing to spend it on anyway. All right. What's our fuel situation? The utility truck. Now we picked this vehicle. We traded out our Myragra for it because it's got a scoop and as it's got a scoop on the front of it zombies cannot climb on the hood which is as good as a toolkit however it's got no doors so i'm easy to haul out so finding a toolkit would be great um, we've been thwarted in all our attempts so far but who knows maybe we'll get lucky maybe we'll get lucky but the one thing we have to do is contain ourselves as commented by razorback he makes a very good point that we've got to contain ourselves and definitely not wake up any more plague hearts. 
Three is about the limit that you want to wake up on lethal zone, let alone this mod. Because the trick with awakened play cards is they just send out hordes and hordes. It's not the infestations which are really the problem, although they can be problematic if you have to operate in the area. It's the hordes. They're fast moving. And wherever you are fighting on the map, particularly if it's on a road or a path, there's a good chance that horde will find you or just be wandering through the area and suddenly you're fighting a lot more zombies than you intended to do. Now this truck doesn't handle particularly well. <laughs> so we've got to not hit zombies like I am not doing. Please, please, let me just get here and do this thing. Um, we might come back here and search up around those uh, buildings back there because we definitely need materials and we need meds. We also need to learn how to do things, either through books or recruiting people. So, wow. These guys are actually just going to make turning up at uh, getting to this place difficult what we'll do is we'll just turn down here and then we're going to do a runner of broken line of sight and now i'm heading away from the from the noise maker now we're going to get our stamina back and there we go that's the kind of thing we're going to have to do we can't fight our way through this there's just too many of them uh, dudes, you might want to, yeah, close that door. Okay, so Krista, the one of these is hey. the chemist. So it's Ellie. So Ellie is the main person we want. So we're just going to say, N do we do this? If we abandon now, will they move on or will they join? Hmm. I think. Later. I think we're going to tell them no. Hang out for a bit. No. Hopefully I've made the right call there. If they do leave town, that's a disappointment. Holy crap. You see what I mean about large hordes, huh? If they don't leave town, they'll probably come back and ask to join our community. Which is fine. Because we will definitely take them. Although that means like uh, scrounging around for food for the rest of the game. At the moment, there's a possibility that a group that there will be a juggernaut, a no man's land, jug, land juggernaut horde turns up. Oh, there's a crossbow bolt, but we're not going to get that. Um, and they would actually outnumber us four juggernauts to three. So that's just that's just harsh. Okay, we're going to get out. didn't see us so these should be non hyper aware but stupid zombies so let's see dulled senses prone to falling over worse hearing and poor eyesight so we should be able to get in here and get out without too much problem we're still not going to risk bringing the car up here because you know, if we stir them up, then we have to take them out if we want to claim any of the loot. And if we do that, then we'll probably wake up hey, another heart. Cool. Oh, what? Who are these guys? He is herbalism. I think that's actually pretty good. One second. How 
Takashashi. Cool name. Discipline and assault. She's a tank. But I don't know who these guys are. And Sean, pathologist. We want to be friends with these guys and recruit them. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. So they have both meds and materials. Which, frankly, is that just a one level one infirmary? It is just the level one infirmary. God dang. So we haven't even got a level two infirmary. Okay, we can't mess about then. Let's make a deal. I'll say it. If we don't clean up some infestations, we're gonna be fucked. We're gonna have to buy that. And a molly. Let me guess that's uh not lootable. Right. How's our meds? We've got five. Getting a pathologist would be awesome. Now we can kill these zombies before they see us and not awaken the play cut. Burst of speed. Okay, we're going to go back and get those meds. So, a bit of a disaster. I was kind of hoping... Well, it could have been a disaster if these guys were useless. What's he carrying? He's got a ruck on his back. So if we recruit Diego, we'll get a ruck as well. Herbalism. These guys are all good. You been well? Hey there, business partner. Sure, sounds good. Yeah, we'll take that. We just need resources, eh? We'll get... Uh, We'll worry about influence later. For now, that's two resources. Plus, there's a shed up there by the Tartan Mart. As long as that's not an infestation, we should be able to get at that. Man, I lost a crossbow bolt with that, though. Finding some more crossbow bolts would be great. So, we don't even know what can... Oh, what? Is there a... Uh, yes, there's some sort of campsite here. So getting things for free is big on our list. doesn't look like very much at all. Alright, whatever they're calling this, it's uh, not anything good. Tricked. I don't recall what was up that road, but we'll drive a little bit closer. Trying to think where else we might be able to find some materials. It would be good to get a full full caseload back, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's about as far as you want to go. Because they've got dulled senses, breaking contact should be easier. Ooh, nice. Bottle of strong painkillers. Take that. Yeah, no one on my tail. And we've got loot in here. So let's get to it. Fuel or materials? To be honest, materials would be better. Not exactly what I wanted, but it'll do. Wow. You have high standards. Percy, you have high standards. How often do you open a container with two rucksacks in it? 
and go, ah, dang, it's not what I wanted. That's a lot of stuff. Wow, we I'm throwing my arms around in glee here. This is a mother load. Oh, this again. Fabulous. Uh, she's not very positive. What are your traits? Tells tall tales. Well, you wouldn't even have to make this story up. You can tell them how you found two rucks and two facility mods, including a signal booster, well, or a antenna. In the one location. In a shed. Wow, we wanted to go back with uh, some good stuff, right? We might even be able to get into the Tartan Mart and see what we've got. Then that would be a full load back and a good day's outing. Like nobody else is home. But with a play card around, that won't last. There's a lot to say. All right. That is, yes, searchable. Tell you what, we'll drop this off just in case we get in there and there's more than we want to deal with. Case in point. Golly gee whiz. Now, watching out for the... Uh, the good old spawn on location location trick. We might go up this billboard, do some scouting, let that horde move on past. Step aside and let the horde move through. Let the horde move through. They're not moving quickly. But then again. I don't have to. All right, so abandoned trailer. Okay. I fucking hate play cards. Aha, uh -huh, that looks like it's Before awake. Maybe not. Maybe it just looks that way. If all these play cards are open. We're in big trouble. All right, so what do we got? All right. I mean, we haven't even promoted a leader yet, so we don't know what we're up against. What was the crap you just dropped off? Hmm. We seem to have parked our car in a busy thoroughfare. Fine for getting away quickly. Ooh. This guy wander up from. Probably stealth these guys. See, they're moving away, so that's all right. Their senses might be so dull that we can put this in the trailer without antagonizing them. Steering wheel's on this side of the car, so we can make a quick break if we need to. Like that. Working in my favor at the moment. Is this curveball? Screamer won't be a lot of fun. All right. 
Alright, so what we'll do is we'll take a look in the window. Can't see anyone in there. Oof. Day seven. There is no way we've been... There's no way it's day seven. Not in a bajillion years. It's actually day three. But that could just be, you know, because this is a mod from July. And we've had several updates since then. But the mod is still working fine. I don't think we're going to have any problems with that, which is a, a testament to its owner. Grabbing stuff, loads of stuff. Yeah, you see, the last episode we went out and tried to sort of make some real progress. And it kind of backfired a little bit. We spent a lot of resources. We got an Enclave member killed. We put ourselves in a risky situation. And we didn't really advance our cause that much at all. We started off well, but then it kind of went a bit downhill as we started to understand what this mod is planning to throw at us. But we've made our peace with that now. All right, let's get to the car. Get this in there. Get it back to base. Before anything else turns up, like those guys. Territory wow, from both directions. Yep, good time to leave. Good time to leave. Of course, even driving through here, random screamers could wake wake up hearts as well. And we've got siege sites already as well. We've got some hostiles on the map. Yeah. Are we in a plague? Right. Yes, this is plague territory here. I reckon he'll get confused. Yep. Ooh. He is not like the others. I just want to check this campsite because sometimes you can find crossbows and crossbow bolts. So if we can find a light crossbow, that would be fantastic. So noted. Heavy weapon, that's good. Some more parts, that's mediocre. But we'll take it. Okay. Quickly now. Yeah, they didn't even seem to hear the car, the, the vehicle, when I jumped in it. So yeah, their senses are well dulled. Still, we're not going to take things for granted. Oh my word, there they are. Alright, that's what we're dealing with. Hmm. Okay, we'll just leave them to their... Uh, nefarious business and go our own way and get this stuff back to base it's getting dark but we've made a decent start here and we might use this time to check out the houses surrounding us all right Pretty happy with what we found here, to be honest. Oh, a bit tired. Just remember, everyone fights. Ah, no okay. One quits.
Siege timer. Okay, so uh, we'll we'll maintain our posture here. We'll grab the 22 carbine. Hopefully we can get away without having to use it. But if we need to, we got it. Wooden bat. It's in good enough shape. Good enough shape. And we'll grab that. Be better putting in the water cooler. Okay, let's see what are we dealing with. We can deal with that. So we should be okay. I think my uh no. Oh no. Okay, Well, I'm seeing as we're sieging. Wow, they're quick. They are so quick. I gotta rest. Ah, come on. Wow, what the heck? All right, you guys get those. I'll get these. We got them all? Gonna attract a few. Over here, guys. The armor's gone. Nasty. Someone just found some food. That's all good. Oh, come on. Right. We have to be super careful now. Oh, dear. Here, tough guy. Ouch. Okay, that hurt, but we survived it. to put ourselves into shop here. Wow, everyone got plagued. Time to get some beauty rest. 
or even just fresh on your not sticky. Okay. Right, so we need to uh, protect ourselves. Dull senses has ended. I mean, that wasn't that dull, to be honest. What we might do is we might take Brian, because I think he's got the bigger backpack, right? Uh, except it's not living. Oh, I am Brian. What I meant was... Maybe I should take Geronimo. Yeah, he's only got a little bit of... A little bit of plague, so he can actually go out and still be productive. That's it. I mean, seriously? Okay. See what what we want here. We want That's all we want. Okay, so we've got the old gray shed, we've got the brick bungalow and the barn shed to hit. And we have a crossbow bolt. Man, this is uh this is reaching Stalingrad proportions. That was my last shot. Jesus. He's still alive. And we lost our crossbow bolt. No sign of the rotten bastards. Good. Okay. Excellent. That is actually pretty good. We'll take all of that. Oh, we could we could maybe get another supply crate as well, because things like strong painkillers were showing up in that. Wow. That is damn heavy. It's okay. We'll go straight back to base and drop this stuff off. Well, better than nothing. What are we doing at our base, by the way? Workshop. Actually, I wonder if that's actually better in the kitchen, right? our food situation minus four per day so we might have to hit the rationing oh tina that's good another ward on the move two wards on the move it's crazy Three citizens, who are you? You guys. <clears throat> they do have a chemist. We'll think about it. Which means we'll loot this house out and then we'll We'll think about it. So we've got 14 fuel, which isn't too bad. Incendiary mines are still in place in that outpost. We would love another outpost too. What we don't want is juggernauts wandering in here. Now here's a place worth searching. Oh God. We really can't afford melees. 
locked. Fucking figures. Be able to curtail them here and then make our way in through a window. Not seeing anyone. to kill him quickly all right so the denizens want bullets as well nail puller nice this infestation bullshit is officially out of control so denizens uh bullets for a friend that's those guys i'm not sure they're that great but we do have bullets i mean that's a that's one thing we actually do have a fair amount of. So who knows what their ally bonus might be. Right now we just need any and all. So that could be on our hit list. I didn't risk my life getting resources just to gift them away. Still, we found a fair bit of luxury, so we'll get. We trade those at the same time. We might even be able to buy some of it straight back. Net neutral. Fucking air bandana. You found it. You wear it. Fucking air bandana. Blue. Skull and crossbones. We'll go with that. Nice one, Geronimo. Okay. Stackable. This dump is clear. So we can find other survivors now as well. It's tempting, you know. Ooh. That is rather nice. Okay, we'll come back and get that. 100%. That's a lot of crap to haul around. Yep, we're going to have to come back. See, if we recruit someone, we've at least got the guns for them. Chemistry. Um. Let's get it now. I guess book learning can be useful after all. I mean, we might get another chemist, but two chemists, it's not a bad this thing. Weird ass juggernaut. Where? be great to find a cast making kit something like that and so we've got they want some fuel they want some ammo we actually do have a decent amount of both of those So we will probably do it. Those supply drops are, you know, we can get, you know, we can find 
strong painkillers and the like in those in those drops. Nothing more to do here. Shall we unit? My crossbow would be nice. Just saying. Help, I'm lost in the room. Right, let's get out. And there's just that shed, then we'll load up. And we'll drop this stuff off to our friends because we're going to need them. So we may as well help them out where we can. Shelving units. We're making a raucous noise. That's ridiculous. Why are we making so much noise? Background noise. One container. Alright, that'll quieten things down a little bit. We've also got Bill's body to go loot, right? More dead fuckers here. He's gonna come to investigate. We'll just open the door, knock him down. Quick execute. more than one they haven't figured out that I'm in here I could actually be worse hey, I guess can good with that that won't work ah, there were two of them Jerk. Jerks, plural. Oh, for that one. Okay, Geronimo. Shit, I'm beat. Yes, you are. All right, so what does this mean for our community now? So, Chrissy, we've got Brian, who is. Not great. Right, Chrissy is partially, still partially infected. Brian's Gotta probably the least infected. Sick what we can do is make some plague cures though now. So it's not such a big deal as what it used to be. Still not great. Uh, you, buddy. Definitely going to use a bandage, though. Right. Brian. Up you get, mate. Hmm. Dawnbringer, eh? Our infirmary is outside, I believe, so we're going to be swapping that weapon with... with Chrissy. Because it's awesome. That needs to be on someone at all times. Carpenter's hatchet. No, we're going for something a little more correct. So, tire iron's actually pretty good. Got a nice ease of use, you see. For a blunt weapon, that's pretty good. You won't find too many weapons easier to use. And that means it puts less strain on our stamina should we get into a fray. Okay. We are going to make a plague cure. 
Why are we still raucous? Oh, that's from the freaking... Ah, that's that's from the curveball. Curveball doing me doing me bad, man. Okay, we're up to 20 materials, so we could get more crossbow bolts. This place is like a fucking beacon for zombies. Yeah, well, I can't do anything about it, mate. That's the problem. Um, Go with that. Okay, let's take luxuries. And then we want bullets and a fuel ruck, right? So ammo is part of the part of the demand. And I'm pretty sure. Put her up. Heal, yeah. At least they're not asking for food, because food we wouldn't be able to do. Nice, an ultralight. I'm going to use it. Travel light. I don't often use them, but this time, yes, we are. Yes, we are going to use it. Alright, let's get down to our allies first. They did ask first. Oh, that's right, I'm not using that. I have to remember. No artificial aids. So no map marker. For someone with my very poor navigation is bloody risky. But at least we don't have to go far. Probably could have done it on foot, but no. We don't even have to do that. Alright, so these events... Looting events are hopefully going to offset the vast numbers of infestations which are going to be out there waiting for us. Hey you. Good out. Don't be a stranger. Hey. Got anything useful you're looking to unload? Yep, we'll take it. Uh, we'll sell that. And we will take that. We will take that. We will take that. I'm going to use it. And there we go. There we go, folks. The Brian is now our mechanic. Always nice to learn something new. Ain't it, though? Now we can make our toolkits. With our parts. Mm, they're hiding behind our vehicle now. Cool. Now we're going to go back and repair our vehicle before we drop off the bullets. Just can't be as blase as I have been about driving around and thinking she'll be right, mate, she'll be right. Thinking that I can get myself out of trouble. I don't have the luxury of getting myself out of trouble. I can't afford to get into trouble. Alright. So. Infirmary workshop I'm 
I'm going workshop. Not usually one that I would normally do. I would normally go for the infirmary, but we need toolkits. Dang it. <laughs> Which you need a level 2 workshop for. It's been that long. Right. Uh, with the scoop driving down that bank will be suicide, so we're going up to the house. Not the barn, the house. But if we, uh... We had a shot, but we couldn't get it done. There we go! Dang it. We're looking for a group to join up with. Are you still making progress on that project we talked about? I am. It's annoying. Let's stop here. Be there in a bit. Just don't want to wake up any. Uh, we're probably, probably good, but. Probably could have driven up, but no. Nasty infestation over here. Oof. Aha. Uh -huh. That is nasty. Marty. I appreciate Okay, what are you gonna give us, mate? Combat resupply. And a hundred influence. And more stuff to trade. To Let's tackle. I'm on board with that. Okay. What do we got? Six nine three. That's cheaper than we can make them. Gas is good and a bolt crafting kit. Yep. And this stuff, no. We're thinking about the future when we're looking at um, that bolt crafting kit. Give us. Yeah, that's an infesting horde. Scream away. You are too late. We're going to get this stuff back in our inventory and fix our vehicle up. Our battle truck. Uh-huh. Barrels. Screamers. Screamers close to base. Barrels probably running at me even as we speak. My vehicle is so slow. Nope. Okay. sounds like right on top of me and be running that way all right let's uh fix this baby up be nice to have some doors just to see how the other half live there we go nice Okay, how are we getting on? So 11 minutes from that. Command center requires 15, so we still want some more of those because we upgrade our command center. Then uh, we can we can install our, our antenna and get another outpost. Meanwhile, we have an offer to join. Which, frankly, I don't know whether we need to do that anymore. 
because we've got a chemist. Tell you what, as long as these guys are on the map, these booze hounds are going to block any other special enclaves. So what we might do is we'll go down and get them. And while we're here, why don't we try our combat supply drop? Any chance of a resupply out here? Where did that oh, land? No problem. Okay. Yeah, we'll swing around that way and, and we'll grab it. What I'm hoping to get in that uh, supply drop is a suppressor more than anything. But we'll take whatever we can get. Beggars cannot be choosers. And yes, we are beggars. Wow, it's actually quiet here. He says, keeping low. Eh. Is that it? Okay, unimpressed. The other supply drop was better. The quick supply drop. Okay, where's he going? Can't have that. Ah, uh, wow, okay. Come fight me down here, Highlanders. There are a lot of samples. Now, seeing as this mod is going to throw so much at me, I don't have too many problems. With using outpost mines to take care of four juggernauts. You can't keep this up. Time to go. Shut that thing up. Dirty trick. I will take his samples. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Can you stop fuming, please? Here we go, folks. Gold. Get that stuff on us. Okay. We've got the right kind of vehicle to go collect an entire enclave and bring them back and recruit them. Now, some of them may be of very little use to us. In which case, we may consider exiling some of them. Whoops. So it wouldn't hurt to have two chemists. Alright, we don't want to hit anyone now. So we don't want to wait any more play cards. Wow. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Shivers. There's an actual play card in there. What do you do when there's nowhere to drive because the road is covered in zombies and freaks? Here we go, got away with it. Oof. Starting to dawn on me that this mod might be a mod too far. Oh, I should have hit him. Oh no, just stirred. Not not awakened. We might have to go back a different way. Which we can do. 
just to have a look around. Why not? Got the fuel. And we don't want to cause too much noise. Ellie's the one that we want. Hey, good looking. Later. Who's calling the shots here? Vanessa. Later. Yeah, let's see what they got to trade. I think it's like just alcohol. Got anything useful you're looking to unload? Uh, Molly's. Um. Yeah. Okay. It fit in well with us. Be noisy as anything. Are they making their own way back? Okay, good luck with that. Huh. Okay. Hopefully they'll make it. They left a bottle of booze. All right, we are going to drive a different way back. Just to scout the land and hopefully avoid waking up another heart. What we're going to do is we're going to drive up and around and back down. Just to get a lay of the land. Who knows? Maybe there's another enclave. Maybe we won't wake up a screamer. Oh, hang on. Out this way, you can sometimes find some good stuff. It's looking a bit tricky to get our hands on it. Okay, back to plan A. We had a good look around there though. Now, along this road, we have got... And there's weapons crates somewhere down under these bridges, aren't there? We've got the pharmacy, and we've got the police station, we've got the supermarket got the trailer park got whatever that place is strip mall value wagon guns and ammo A nasty horde stirs but it hasn't awoken that play card's already awake. Uh, tell you what. We might just drive up and see whether we can make contact with this enclave up here. Uh, I saw that bloater. He's probably going to cut me off. Focus on big items. If we stock up on small comfort, it will add up when we need to trade. That sounds bad. That sounds really bad. Decided maybe that wasn't such a great idea. Ouch. Ouch. I can't even afford to hit these zombies they'll wake up the heart all right we're going for a bit of a cruise as it as it turns out 
It's okay. Got this ammo place. Yeah, it's definitely not day seven. Yeah, we're getting bits and bobs from the looting events, but nothing great. Possibly because it relates to morale. It's not like we can just... We've got a lounge or anything. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on that. Gas gauge. Drive around. This is actually quite useful to do. We're using daylight a little bit. But we need to pick our next target. Nasty. Yes! Work shop two completed. Ugh. Which is fantastic. It means making a suppressor, even if it's just a handmade suppressor. We can put that on a backup weapon. And we might even spend resources on crossbow bolts. But it does feel like we've got bigger fish to fry than that. Hmm. Who is that? Oh, that's one of my one of my new dudes we should probably check what they're about how about that i made it back things would be a lot nicer if we had running water in here yeah you got a point Me. <laughs> no one say that. all right so here's our newbies we've got ellie stubborn um okay we've got vanessa Homebrew of former inmate. Oh, she's a chemist as well. I guess it's like so we've got three chemists. One, two. Hang on, mechanics. One chemist. Two chemists. A bartender. Weak swing. Okay, great. Overachiever plus one labor. That's kind of handy. Chrissy, who's looking a bit beat up. And Ellie, who looks like she will just bring us down. So I think, surprisingly, I thought Ellie was the one for me. We're going to do something we don't often do. And we're going to ask Ellie to leave. Sorry, can't have that. But you can take your drive okay, shaft club. You oh yeah, she's just sounds I'm sorry. amazing. It's time for you to go. You know, I didn't think I could dislike you anymore, and yet. Sorry, Ellie. Good luck. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Wow, how often a mod has driven me to exile someone. I usually don't exile anyone. Keep going this way, then Ooh, that's good. Social butterfly. Right. And he is a warlord. Hmm. Warlord could be quite good. Yeah. Bunny hop for good luck. Actually... We'll think about that. We'll think about that. Do we make... Brian our leader? Will he lead us through the apocalypse and through the No Man's Land mods? He shakes his head. Still, I have more faith in you than you than you have in yourself, buddy. But anyway, wow, we're, we are really up against it. But we've made some progress and no one died. Someone got exiled, but hey net positive net positive and uh, now we've got our workshop so we can actually start uh, 
building a few improved items to give us a better chance in this landscape cool anyway i hope you enjoyed the episode a little bit of a longer one but hey you know there was a lot at stake a lot at stake and uh hopefully it has paid off i hope to see you for the next one thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it think about subscribing and hit that like on the way up because it really helps the channel and i'll catch you for the next video Ka kite bye for now